Hi guys, so today is going to be a full face tutorial on this look using the new Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see how I did this bright eye and neutral lip, keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm going to use my Bright Future Concealer by Sephora. And I'm just going to take that all over my under eye area, focusing on that little crease right there where my dark circles begin and excuse my lack of hair i actually do the popping method to dry it so my hair is in a t-shirt turban right now while i do my makeup and it dries and now i'm just patting that concealer in with a beauty blender just to try and pack that into those spots under my eyes Making silly faces as usual. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Pure BB Cream as a foundation on my Tarte Airbrush Finish Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to use downward motions to sweep that all over my face. Don't want to use upward motions either because it picks up those tiny hairs that everybody's have. Everybody's have. Everybody has. And it makes you not look as airbrushed. So I'm going to contour with my NARS Eda brush. I'm just going to take that with my shade light palette. I'm going to use the lightest brown color at the bottom as a contour shade. Taking that into the natural contours of my face, using the fishy face as a guide. And then I'm going to also contour on my forehead on the sides. I want a more natural contour today, so I'm not going to do the top of my forehead, just the sides. And I'm also doing the sides of my face to try to give my face a less rounded appearance. So I'm going to do underneath my jawline to give a natural shadow there so when it looks like I don't have a double chin. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not a good look for me. So I'm going to be highlighting with my L'Oreal Lumi Powder in the shade Rose. And I'm going to use this shade right here. Taking that on my Eco Tools Powder Brush and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks, take a little bit under my lips, and take some on the bridge of my nose with my finger, and on the top of my forehead, the middle of my forehead, not the top. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and one eye, and I'll be right back. So I got my one eye done. I'm going to be using NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone for the other one. I'm just taking that in downward motions and sideways motions on the lid. I'm also going to use that to help define my brow. And finally, we're ready for our palette. This palette is seriously gigantic. So I'm taking that burgundy shade on a fluffy crease brush by Eco Tools. I'm just putting that all in the crease, and apparently I'm getting it all over the lid as well, but don't worry about that, because we're going to fix it later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this orangey color all over the lid. I'm patting that on with a giant kind of smudge brush. I absolutely love this burnt orange color. It is seriously gorgeous. So the next color we're using is this coppery color, harpsichord I think it's called. And we're going to use that as a transition between that burgundy and that burnt orange. So it's going right into the crease 
not above it like the burgundy one did. And then we're going to use this lovely yellow gold color as an inner corner highlight. I'm taking that on a tiny smudge brush and just pat it on because I want to maintain some of that glitter. And then for the for the eyebrow highlight, we're using this Lyric light shimmery color. And I'm going to highlight the brow and kind of drag that down a bit as well to make more of an even transition between that um, burgundy color. So I'm finally using my liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black because I literally cannot use any other eyeliner. I'm just um, taking my wing and making sure that it's even with the other one. I'm just going to drag that down towards the center of my eye. Keep on dragging. When I get closer to the inner corner, I flip my brush and I actually use the side of the brush to make a tinier line and make it more precise. And I'm filling in that wing right now. I'm pretty sure I could do just a tutorial on wing liner and it would take like 20 minutes because <laughs> I'm a mess when it comes to wing liner. I'm sure I'm not the only one. We adjust, girl. We adjust. You got this. So then, after I get done with this wing, I'm going to drag it down from where my eye actually ends and just increase that line with more of like a cat eye appearance. I'm not doing any bottom layer. I feel like all the drama on top is actually working really well with this crazy eyeshadow. I think Kat Von D would approve. This is my absolute favorite mascara at the moment. It thickens them up, it blackens them up, and it lengthens. Link, lengthens. It lengthens. <laughs> lengthens your lashes. <laughs> I'm taking that on top and the bottom because I want my lashes to be everything. So here is the finished eye look, guys. I feel like it looks like a flame. Like it's got the yellow, it's got the orange, it's got the red. I absolutely love it. Alright, so it's time for lips. I'm using my Shimmer Rose Fresh Lip Treatment. It's just a super intensely amazing lip balm. Seriously, I had dry, crappy lips from being sick and it like fixed them up. They're so beautiful now. And now I'm going to go in with my NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Mauve. This is just kind of a Regular neutral everything lip color, and I'm just not even gonna do lipstick today. I'm just gonna do this lip liner all over the lips. It's like matte too, so I just I just love it for every day. I just love it. Yeah, you put on that liner, girl. You do it. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys liked today's tutorial and let me know how you like the voice over thing if you like that better than how I usually do it. I feel like it's probably going to be easier for me this way, but if you guys don't like it, I won't keep doing it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you want to see me do next. Bye!